Okay, we've got sawdust. Hello, sawdust. We've got, have we got sound? I, I actually didn't turn the mic on. on. No. So is there sound? Go on, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Sound. Let me say is there sound. But if there's no sound, you can't hear what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, sound now. Thank God for that. <laughs> Excellent. So what I want to do while well, I've been talking to myself. <laughs> there was no one there then, so that was okay. So what I want to do is... Get the cover over this greenhouse, and we'll not talk about other stuff as well, obviously, because that's kind of what we do, isn't it? But yeah, this old, well, I say greenhouse, this used to be an old garage. It was, I say an old garage, it was um, one of them Clark uh, Machine Mart type garage things that you get for Machine Mart. Yeah, and it had a plastic cover. Anyway, we had it, it was, um, we got it for a friend of ours, and um, we chucked it in the front garden, thinking we are going to cover that building up at the front there, and it looked absolutely ridiculous, so we decided that we, we weren't going to finish it. And then the wind came along, and it ripped the cover to pieces, and... Needless to say, we get left with a frame and bits of cover. So what we thought, hang on, the old wooden greenhouse that was here, if you remember it, that was a wooden poly, poly tunnel, uh, it needed, well, it's, it was rotten. So mother-in-law came along and she ripped it to pieces within about three hours and got rid of it. <laughs> In fact, there's all bits of it propped up against the barn here. <laughs> and, and the old covers, plastic covers that was on it was over there. And there was an eight bees by four. Bit. Look, look like when you see all the bits over there but anyway so we've got le left with this frame so well, hang on why not use that as a new greenhouse frame it's a reasonable frame it's not the sections of the pipe are a good 40 mil so that's not too bad and at the moment we have this greenhouse over here which is absolutely fine that's quite a good little greenhouse we bought a really cheapy one which you can see over there which last the season the wind ripped to pieces so that's got to be sorted out at some point but my main concern was this one because we're because we're taking down the actual old greenhouse so we we needed obviously to replace it with something because in this greenhouse over here I've got loads of tomato plants that are desperate to get in the ground but equally there ain't no room because this one where it is or yeah there's potatoes over there. so um we'll have to dig them up as well at some point but I'll, don't do it too soon but we are actually eating them now we've got new potatoes oh and they taste so good oh charlotte's very good so the frame itself this frame here like I said, it was an old garage, so I put some stiffeners in some, um, to make it like a little A-frames at the top. I had the little bits of metal, so I thought I'd chuck them in. Didn't need to do the ends, because the ends are going to be built up with timber anyway, with the doors in. Um, but my first priority is to get the cover over the top and fixed on both sides of the greenhouse. Now, with a polytunnel, traditionally what you do is you, you dig a trench and you have excess material and you bury it in the ground. That's how that one's been done over there, and that's how this one over here is done. I didn't want to do that like this. No. No, I didn't. So um, what I've done is I've driven in galvanised pipe into the ground, in line, what have you, and attached a wooden uh, plinth along a bond, which I'm going to sandwich the plastic to that. Um, and then once the plastic's stretched over the top of the greenhouse, I'll leave it a few days, once it's settled down, what have you, and then what we'll do is we'll actually raise the frame within the greenhouse, because these are two fixed points either side of the greenhouse, you see, and by doing it, I'll stretch the cover. That's the plan. I hope. The, the real tell, the real, <laughs> the real telltale um, will be when we get some high winds, and it, if it's there in the morning, I'll be happy. Yeah. If it's not, I'll be sad. So we've got we've got a new cover to go on this one over here, and um, yeah, I'm quite excited to get it done. Actually, to be honest, yeah, it'd be quite good. But when you consider the cost of food at the moment, everything's going through the roof and um yeah a little bit frustrating so and people are suffering as a result and then you've got idiot politicians saying the most ridiculous <laughs> maybe that'd be a bit better over there maybe it should be fine actually because i've just done some tests the circle of death do we don't want the circle of death no we don't so hopefully it'll settle down i've got plenty of internet Onto that, and I can do a speed test. Let's do a speed test. That'd be the telltale sign, wouldn't it? On my other phone, because that's got no 4G on that phone. So, and I'll connect to the house at the moment, or should be at least. Yeah, I am. So, I'm just going to do a little speed test. Double check everything is a okay. It might just be a glitch. The ping inks are great. That nope, should be enough. Blimey. It seems to me that the net is going off and on. Tell you what, I'm on f there, that's good. I might have to go on to 4G. Is it okay? Is the picture okay? 
all this techie stuff at the beginning has staffed, isn't it? Really. Welcome back. It's okay now, is, it? is, it, is, the, is the picture okay as well? So a bit further away, but hey, got a nice, oh, you know, a bit of a, there you go. You've got a little tree there for you. Come. Hello, Derek, I hope you're well. Yeah, who was it there? There's some, oh, numpty of a politician was uh, basically saying, that obviously a Tory, um, and she was saying that you should uh, just, you know, do a few more hours at work. You're already doing double shifts, you know, do a few more hours and everything will be okay. That'll make up for the, uh, well, the shortfall, won't it? That's what they, that's what she said. She's a plonker. That's what she is. Uh, I've got her name now. I'll have it in a minute. Oh, anyway, she's a minister anyway, so, um... Uh, she's a minister for, not Brexit opportunities, not him, no. But there's all sorts going on at the moment. I know we've got grain shortages anyway, at the best of times it's not great, is it? Because obviously it's going on in Ukraine. But um, you've also got Slovakia now, they're saying they're, you know, Slovakian food for the Slovakian people, that's what they're saying. Um, so they, they looks like they don't want to do any exporting. Of foodstuffs. Well, that's going to hit obviously um, markets regarding food markets. And then we've got India is doing the same, it appears. Yeah, India's, um, okay, India's not in the EU, but they were hoping to export grain this year because obviously they want to reap the benefits of the high prices. And uh, normally they pretty much consume all their own grain, as in wheat. And uh, they were hoping to be able to export around. Um, 10 million tonnes of grain. But as a result of what's going on and the fact they've had such high um, heat waves earlier this year, already this year, and um, they're, well, they've decided that, well, we can't export anything. So they've banned all exports. Hello, Chris Murphy, hope you're well, buddy. Um, so they've banned all exports of grain. Oh, they're formally, oh, cheers for that, Monk. So Nate, Sweden has now formally applied for NATO membership. That is, um, well, can't blame them. I'm a bit worried that um, Turkey's gonna kick up a fuss. Um. <laughs> Derek says, instead of waffling on, pl place the camera on the tripod. It's on a tripod. <laughs> I had a few techie issues. I hope, I, I, as long as I, I will carry on doing what I'm doing, but, um, I just came on a try, but then talk while you work. I get exhausted watching other people's work. <laughs> Providing it's the internet is okay now. Is it? Is the picture okay, everybody? And is the sound okay? Um, and then I'm going to get on with this greenhouse as well while I'm yapping away. Could be told. Yeah, I've been told. Uh, so the picture is picture's fine. All fine. Thanks, Mad Monk. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. That I do. So, okay, I'm going to... Uh, which glasses should I put on? I don't know. I've got to have something on my eyes. I'm going to be blinded otherwise. Blinded. So, what I've got to do is I've got to make sure there's no sort of sharp bits anywhere. And then the missus is going to come and give us a hand. Uh, this, yeah, this, <laughs> that's a peach tree, by the way. So, we've got potatoes. We had potatoes for lunch today in a salad, which was rather, rather nice. I've got my radio mic. Hopefully, I will keep coming back. Looks like to check, make sure everything's okay. I've got the radio mic on, so hopefully that's doing its job. And I've got to make sure there's nothing sharp in the way. So um, I want to make a look of these later as well. These are insect houses. That one's had, had its day. <coughs> God, if there's anything sharp or potentially going to rub against the cover, it's going to put holes in it, which wouldn't be very good. Yeah, so India's not going to export any wheat stuffs, even though they were hoping to. But generally, they never do. They normally consume all their wheat. Got Slovakia saying that no, we're not going to be exporting anymore. Very, very sorry, but it's tough tea. Um, and that, obviously, the EU is kicking up a fuss about that. Understandably so, I suppose. We're all supposed to be in, you know, in it together, aren't we? I know one thing I'll have to do because that's going to rub on there. I can rub on there. I might have to. Put that rub on there. I oh, know. I'm going to put a bit of tape around. That's what I do. Duct tape. Oh, it fixes everything. 
So yeah, people aren't happy. And but well, top obviously you, Ukraine is not um, in a very good position regarding exporting anyway. Um, the fact of the matter is, they've also they banned exports. Well, they're under licence. Well, you all know about obviously the um, uh, oil and stuff like that, but it's also grain crops as well. They only export under licence. So if they think they've got enough, they'll, you know, they'll export it. But their their point is is that Ukrainian food for Ukrainian people, just like you know, Slovakia. Is saying, um, and the EU is not happy. No, I understand countries like India, obviously. Don't blame them either, because you know, that's funny, it's not the first time they've uh, starved to death. Eight, uh, uh, was it eight million or so, 50 million, eight million, I think a lot because of uh, Churchill, Churchill stealing their food. Sounds a bit like Ireland. I'm sure Derek Murray can confirm. Yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm just taping these joints because because I don't want the cover to wear wherever those joints are, um, especially here because sticking up they're sticking up a bit you know, on the top part of the frame, and um, that might cause a problem. You, I suppose you have. Um, I haven't got any, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but the, you get like a, a tape. It's like what you used to call bear tape in, in the industry, as in building, what have you, and windows and what have you. Bear tape is like a foam, sticky back foam tape. And all that used to do was, um, it's like an insulated tape, basically. But on the greenhouse, you create like this, uh, like a cold spot. So effectively, you haven't got the plastic up against hot pipes if they heat up, which they can do. Thing, I know I've said this before, but the more we can grow ourselves, the less uh, we're going to be dependent on imports. But also, when you grow food, like I do, we don't eat everything we grow. We give it to other people. So, and the beauty about that is, they then don't have to buy as much from the supermarkets, etc. So, um... I'm just going to can we confirm that the radio mic is working okay? Because I'm going to be waffling on on my own. I've got 21 people there, surprise, surprise. Can't be bad. <laughs> At the moment, Mr. Patroli, Monsieur Patroli is currently uh, hung up on the wall. That is. Sorry if. I'm sorry, folks, but I'll have to, some sawdust to make myself. Have a good day. You, yeah, you too, buddy. Make some sawdust. Lots of sawdust. I do like to make some sawdust myself. It's, it's okay. That's good now. Okay, excellent. It's all working good. Thanks, Mad Monk. Excellent. Oh, it's all soft ground repair steps. It's not a good idea. It's kind of like, um, you know, like, Sort of balancing, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm just kind of like shifting my weight on the steps, so I know the the bit that's gone, the leg that's gone into the soft soil isn't going to disappear into the ground. With me, with, with me with it. Oh, another one over there. Missed that one. Now this greenhouse isn't as big as the last one, but it's taller, a lot taller, um, which is a good thing because it means. Oh, Normally, I nip my, or say nip, I pinch at the tops of my tomatoes that around the fifth or sixth truss. Well, with this green, it's nothing, I just can't let, let it keep growing. <laughs> Provided I can feed it, feed them enough, which I can, because I've got plenty of feed. I haven't got the fertiliser problems that um, the rest of the world has. We have plenty of fertiliser. We, we have this stuff called Comfrey, which is a green fertiliser. And it's um, really good stuff because it's um, a mix of everything. It's not just, you know, nitrogen that the farmers like to put on their fields. It's got other stuff in it as well. You've got the potassium and phosphorus and what have you. And it's um, basically everything the plant needs. Plus it's got low tra trace minerals as well. So it makes the plant healthy because all that stuff that ends up in a 
in the thing that you eat is a thing that provides, you know, you with the minerals and other nutrients, trace elements and all that, so you can survive yourself. You don't just survive, but be healthy. There you go. And then there's the little anime poo in, isn't he? So it's so it, the rumours go, or some generals uh, spilt the beans, as well as an oligarch. Well, Vladimir Putin has got blood cancer, you know, leukemia or something like that. Leukemia, blood cancer, I think it is. So, I don't like to wish ill on people, except him, quite frankly. If he pegs it, I'll celebrate. What happened there is also there's rumours that a coup is brewing in the Kremlin. Kremlin. So that's from some oligarch or that general or something. But yeah, it's all, le- it's all leaked stuff. It all makes you wonder about the legitimacy of it. But it seems to be in lots of newspapers now. I was made aware of it last night in my ridiculously long four hour live stream. God, that's so tiring doing that <laughs> for four hours. That was nuts. I think what I need to do is get myself a big hourglass, like two hourglass or something, so do two hours, and then it's like, uh, you need to start, you know, ratcheting down a bit so it's a, you don't end up burning out. Because what ha- ends up happening, I look like, don't sit, I waffle. I can't help it, that's just who I am. I'm a waffler. As long as I'm not a waffle, that's fine. A bit of cards going in the compost heap. That'll rot down. Where's the other, another bit of tape over here? So Mrs. She says she's going to join me at half past, she says. Oh, that's in two minutes. I bet she forgets. Let's see what you're saying. Have you dug a trench on one side to anchor? No, I don't dip in my derrick. Um, I've actually... Got, I've driven down a uh, galvanised tube, steel t- galvanised tube, about two, around two feet each, in a, in a bit of a, the tube has got, a, oh, the tube itself is actually from a, well, if you look over here, over there, that is my support for my, um, one side will have wire on for the beans, but I've also got to put plastic over the top as well, so it's a bit of a shelter for we'll grow some more outdoor tomatoes underneath that as well. But that's an old trampoline. Well, the old legs and stuff like that, I've been making use of. I chopped some the bottom base bits down into the, they had a bend in them, so I've basically driven them into bends. It's almost like it's gone in like a like a dovetail. So you see, I can pull it out. I tell you, it's hard to get them to swing in the ground. It's that deep. So what I did is I, I cut them to length, have them, and then I bashed the ends flat, and then I driven them down with a block of wood and a, and a lump hammer. Um, and each one of those poles, especially the, f- the three middle ones are the easy ones because there's a funny bend on the end of these, these corners as a part of the, the structure of the, of the garage. Um, I've driven them in, but normally, like you said, like I mentioned earlier, actually, but I was probably not, didn't have no sound then, but um, you normally dig a trench either side and bury the cover, and then you raise the actual frame into the cover to stretch the cover a few days later once it's settled down. Um, I've done that on the one over there, the, the, the greenhouse over there, but also we did it on that one over there, which is a waste of time because it's complete it's rubbish greenhouse, and also they didn't give you enough material to bury it properly. Um, so what we're doing with this one is uh, we've actually just put timber, bolted to those stakes at the bottom, those bits of t- round galvanised tube, and bolted straight through with six mil, six, 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 or four, uh, six mil bolts. Um, get the galvanised as well. And then we're attaching the cover to that, but the, put, the, the I was quite fortunate that the tubes of this garage slide into those tubes. So what we'll do is we'll raise the tubes up and then put another bolt through to fix it down, and it should pull the cover tight to the stakes in the bottom. Plus, we've got a lot, lot more structure. Like for instance, on the ends, there's going to be structure to take the doors and stuff. Now we fit, now we concrete, yeah, be two posts, concrete or driven or whatever into the, into the ground to create the doorways. So that's the plan. Last time Putin was on stage, the microphone was turned off. Happy days. Did you try my suggestion on removing the 
safe and comfy on no odour. So I don't understand that. McDonald's selling off. Yes, uh, McDonald's are selling off in Russia with well, the, the, all the Russian interests. It's a pity that Leroy, Mer is it Leroy Merlin's decathlon, Caroline. My dear wife just turned up. There she is. She's standing to attention. I want to ask a question. I washed that. Uh, oh no, you didn't. Oh no, we wanted that. Oh. And I'm saying, is it a cat? Have I got enough room on it? Oh, that's debatable. You give it a go, you need a load of water. water um, I think that is. I think that's. Like a hedge in front. No, I think it's a fruit tree actually. Yeah. It's like plum or something like that. Is that but it's oh. probably. Or crab apple. It might be that crab apple. Oh, I want one of them. Well, the spikes. You don't like spikes, do you? No. Okay, do you want crab apple? No, 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 that isn't. Still a tree though. Uh, if the I don't know, Mellow Mellow. Um, last time Putin was a stage, the mic was turned off. But also, he's got. He, he doesn't look well, does he? Yeah, Mr. Potato Head. He looks like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> what an undertaker. <laughs> um, Mr. Potato Head, and his head is so swollen. He does, doesn't he? He looks really, really puffed up. Like he's had too much Botox. Look, you need to go on a serious keto diet to get rid of the water. If only his mates, the Tories, would turn theirs off. God, I wish. Hey, Gingers is here. We've got... Hello, Gingers. Good morning to you. It's morning over there, isn't it? As it is. All went good. Hey, let's get... Oh, we've got a few more tapes. I don't know why she ran off. She took, she took a bit. She said she was going to be here about half past, and it's half past half past now. Oh, dear. What is she like? She probably forgot. So I'll tape these ones as well, I think. Hmm. They're not going to be able to much tension. No, I will tape them because I cut through the plastic or damage the plastic. So I'll just put a piece of tape on each of those. The other thing to watch out for is when we pull the cover over, and that, that's going to be a blooming palaver, that we don't um, drag the cover over stuff and that's potentially sharp. I'll watch one stand as well. There's food in the ground. Yeah, it's so nice being able to just, I don't know, pick or dig up something to eat. Look at all these strawberries. I see strawberries again. And they don't taste like supermarket strawberries at all. In France, if you're going to buy strawberries, it could be the Garaday strawberries. They're the better ones. All the imported ones, they taste so watery. These are wood strawberries, these ones are. Um, Fred de Bois. And they're very, very nice. Oh, can you see? I'm over here! I don't know how far this microphone reaches. They're not bad, little microphone, they're okay. I'd like to get the road, the road ones, but they're a bit pricey. I actually bought these for my woodworking channel before all shorts. And these mi the microphones there, and it's um, it wasn't something I was planning to do for all sorts at all. I just really only started doing any live stuff really when I was um, went to Ginger Island with Graham Hughes. So, I'll talk about Graham Hughes. Graham Hughes, he's been asking my advice again. He wants to build a tree house, yeah, obviously for the, for the girls, he wants to build a tree house. So, um, he's asked my advice, how do I fix it to a tree? I said. Well, the best way is to sandwich two big bits of wet wood, like a bit like your beers, and big lot, lot, get some long threaded rods. Comes usually in a meter, meter lengths, twelve mil or larger, you know, M12s or larger, and then uh, you'll be able to uh, build off that. Whatever not he listens, I don't know. You never know, Graham. Well, actually, you do actually, because <laughs> he never does. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. I think that's okay. You've got those ones up the top. I'm not worried about up this much. So where there's going to be a lot of... Oh, strawberry! Oh, I've got a strawberry. I've got fennel there. Crikey. I don't know if... The aniseed taste of that fennel is so intense. A 70s sitcom. A good life. <laughs> I ain't got a pig, though. No, no pigs. <laughs> 
<laughs> mm. Excellent. Over here, everyone's a mess because during um, lockdown, you'd think I'd actually spend more time in the garden, but no, I was making silly videos. That was <laughs> super trolley. But also, um, lots of videos on that for, for all shorts and stuff. I was so busy with that, I didn't really. Oh, I did build my woodworking outside woodworking shelter. I did build that. Um, but really, I should have spent more time in the garden, but I didn't. And as a result, it's a mess, a complete and utter mess. Luckily, we're changing this greenhouse, and that's all going to be hunky dory bit of luck. The far greenhouse, as you can probably see, <laughs> is buggered. So, what we're going to do is because the wind tacked and it bent all the end, we're going to take the end of the greenhouse out. So, we're going to remove about a metre and a half of the end of the green, greenhouse. And the idea is then I'll be able to come up behind the solar panels. Can you see what? Yeah, the part, behind those solar panels there with the tractor mower. Um, we can bring it all the way up here, and then we're going to then the end of this greenhouse there, we're going to create the path around, so it all links up basically, so we can then just come through and cut it. So I can cut the grass with the, you know, the big machine, so Caroline, bless her heart, has less to do. That's kind of the plan anyway, and I hope it pans out, and it's, I think it's, it's all come together and it's, um, that will be hunky-dory. The Tories, Putin Alliance is 100% to blame, says Chris Murphy. Yes. It's just unbelievable. The tractor motor. I, I, do I really have a lot of choice? I've got Hector's here. <laughs> I'm not going to do that with a big pair of shades. Or oh, scythe. Saying that, I've done it. I have done I have that field over there and that field over there. So you can see. Donate whenever you and buy a tree. Find me down below. Or it's, it's not when we're in there. Also, if you put a sign on it as well, so you know who, who it is. And also in the field over there, which you've already started planting. Um, so anyway, we're, yeah, so hopefully we can cover all the trees. Yeah, but we do need a wear cut in the grass. So there's nothing posh about it, I'll tell you. My machine, I'll show you the machine, it's there. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying. Dig in, isn't it? And we're back again, anyway. Tractor porn. <laughs> Day seven. The state of this field at the moment it is so. Oh my God! It's such because it didn't. I didn't cut it properly last year. Um, we've got a lot of mole heels that have gone hard. So uh, going over at the moment. And that machine is not designed. It's a finishing mower. So it's designed for lawns, not not paddocks or um, meadows like that. You know, uh, le prix de bourri. So yeah, it's um it's rather nice to have, but it is a lot of work to keep the um the ground in check so yeah we do have to have something to cut the grass sadly and the real sad thing is that it uses fuel which i really you know grudge not just the cost of it but the fact that it was raining in meadow meadow okay haven't you heard it's no mo may no i no mo i've got a mo as short short as i get it so it goes all brown and then i ain't got to cut it <laughs> that's what i want yeah. No? If weed kills weren't so controversial, I'd weed kill that a lot. I'm sick and tired of the grass, I'll tell you. Too much of the blooming stuff. <laughs> the worst ever seen in history. Okay, uh, the Shanghai Corporation says, hello, David. Jacobsbin. Jacobsbin. Um, well, uh, the corporation organisation, the SCO, also known as the Shanghai Pact 2, is a transcontinental political, economic, security, and military alliance. It, oh, okay. I don't know about that. Come back. Where are you gone? Oh, there it is. So, I don't know where my dear wife has gone, but I need her. I might have to go, Caroline. The thing is, I could shout Caroline, but she's deaf. <laughs> Doesn't help, no. So, uh, you got ah, well, Alexander Boris de Vettel Johnson. He's facing a knotty, knotty, apparently, uh, diplomatic challenge over the Brexit deal that he signed, yeah, and agreed. You know, the Northern Ireland and the TCA. The NI protocol and all that. Well, these consequences, known as the protocol, include checks on stuff, 
crossing from England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, as we know that we know all that already, don't we? And still, not fully devolved uh, government at no fully devolved government at Stormont, no, because the Don't Understand Politics Party is kicking up a fuss over the protocol. So yeah, he's he's going to be trying to negotiate <laughs> negotiate it what, again. This is just going to go on and on and on like an Aristotle, isn't it? We're never going to get this sorted. But if there's reunification, then oh, oh yeah, it would need the protocol, would you? No. Uh, Vu's within the government at Westminster very significantly stretching from Hawks tempted to buy a, a scrap with Brussels. That would be ERJ, wouldn't it? Oh, be like uh, Mark Franswanker, him. You know, the Spartans. The Spartans, that's him. And you can uh, be confident there's a lively debate initially about how to manage this. Expect the Prime Minister's language today to be emollient. Uh, and we've had a flavour of that already. Kipper! <laughs> uh, in a long article he's written for the Belfast Telegraph. This isn't about scrapping the protocol, the Prime Minister says. It's all about the desire to make it work. As he sees fit. Or how he sees it. Um, yeah, probably both both correct. Now, those who study the fine print of this uh, stuff point not just to the Article 16 that allows either side to suspend the protocol, but also the Article 8, which talks about changes to it, uh, or to its eventual replacement. We're talking about replacement already... How old is it? Not so, and will be a kind of argument is operating within it. That's bad faith. Yes, well, Simon Coveney, as I was talking about last night, he isn't very happy, no. Not at all. So after the Prime Minister's dash to Belfast, expect the Foreign Secretary Liz Trust to make things worse. Now told it is First Principles Declaration of Intent. Yeah, they're doing the whole thing again, aren't they? You know, like the no-deal scenario. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to threaten them with no-deal. So we're going to threaten them with Article 16, and they'll relent. That's what they think. That's what I think they think. And they probably don't think. No. I know he doesn't think. They don't understand politics party. The DUP. So, I need my missus. Where is she? <laughs> oh, where are you gone? Are you ready? Oh, uh, why am I shouting? She can't hear me. Caroline! You ready? Oh, she did hear me. Don't bring the... I don't know where you put her. Oh, okay. Oh, she's gone to get the cover. You look very hot and bothered. It is rather hot today. Really, really hot. The sun keeps going behind the clouds and what have you. Oh, who saw the moon last night? Because we didn't, because it was cloudy. Yeah, it is, um... Oh, I'm back! Up we go, I'm going, up we go. Hello, M. Carpenter. Most of them have returned to the UK due to being unable to afford private health care uh, in the EU due to Brexit. Job done. That was Tom, 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 Tom. Uh, something very seriously harms the UK economy is the increasing number of people who draw a UK source pension whilst living abroad. Obviously, that money needs to be put back into our economy. No, we want it. We can't have it. How you done? There you go. And besides, in the scheme of things, there's actually not a lot of money. There's no way or resemblance at all to the amount of money that's getting lost as a result of leaving the EU. None whatsoever. All right, Caroline. Oh dear. Well, we're going to have to... Hopefully, I'll put that there so I can get onto those boards. I've got my scaffold, sort of. Now, hopefully, if I move this over, it's not going to lose in there. The bits of metal, please. And if you think I'm going to break my neck, I'd rather I didn't. Now, I suppose not. 
What's in that pocket? Bits of metal. I'll take bits more. I've got all rivets in my pocket. I've been riveting bits of metal to the um, greenhouse. So I'm going to take them out of my pocket because I keep jabbing me in the leg. Ugh. I scratch my glasses that I'm about to put in my pocket. So. Sometimes the glasses are handy, so you see. No, we're not using that. No, they're all goat. They're the old eggs at the bottom of the um, garage. Oh, you're not there. Okay. No, I don't know if I can help it. Also, got to be careful we don't drag the cover. Oh, we're going to have a get going for it. We've got to be careful we don't drag the cover over the top of anything that's potentially sharp. Like, you see the little bits of metal that are dangling down where we're putting our wires? Obviously, you need to make sure they don't catch onto those. So, the things to bear in mind. But Oh, excuses! Your hair and before it's done. It's all twisted up. Do a bit of duct tape. No. Be sure. No. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Don't go in. Don't sulk. So, what we're going to do, Caroline, is drape it over the top yeah. and then somehow I've got to try and unfold it. Then unwrap it. Ah, and also we've got to remember it's going the other way, isn't it? Because the width, the width is the length. The length is the width. It's all about the girth, you know. <laughs> it's all about the girth, isn't it, darling? I'm just a labourer. Oh, you're just my labourer? Or it wench. Can I throw things at you? I had a lump hammer thrown at me once. I probably will, actually. I embarrass myself. Right, I'll put, I'll put some phone down here so they don't fall out my pocket. I'll put it in over here. Uh, we're going in, we are. We're going in. We're going to try... Oh, oh, you saucy. Did you hear that? We probably didn't. She just asked me, where do you like me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We're all past it. Anyway, what are we done? Rigging on the rigging. No? Okay. So what? Got, it's, the width is actually the length, which is, gonna, which is a bit of annoyance. I don't know. I'm just trying to explain as I go so you know what I'm talking about. It's not how it rolls off that way. It's how it rolls off that way, which is even more annoying. I'm going to unroll it a bit, okay. It's, like, it's folded like four times or five, no, six times it's folded. Uh, that way, that's basically going that way because it's eight metres over that way. In some ways, that might make it easier. But can't we just throw the whole thing over once? What, just literally throw it? Oh, here go, throw, throw, there, there's a there. Well, no, you need to stand and put it over there. So we've got, we've also got a broom over there with a brush head on it, so that's like a pokey device without putting holes in. It's on the floor, I think, over there. I don't know if you want... If you, yeah, there it is. I see it's on the floor. There's a the, the tripod. Not a one. Excuse me? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah. No, that should be fine. Oh. I've got the workshop one if you want a bigger one. The workshop one? Yeah. What, that really wide, heavy thing? Yeah. No, that's all right. Yeah. Big, wide, heavy brush. Oh, oh where am I going to stand? Oh, no, this looks dangerous. I can't. Don't like danger. Danger, stranger, stranger, danger. All right. Stop getting me the brush. Oh, get me my brush. You look careful. Oh, dance like short, I might. <laughs> oh, yeah, the idea that. Oh, we can actually make up the de- the losses of uh, leaving the EU from a pension. I don't. Yeah. I don't think that's... Because this is going to be really awkward. This is going to be really awkward anyway because... Because we're going the other way. Normally you'd hang it over the ridge. Yeah. Maybe we've got to hang it over the ridge. Oh, crikey, it's not the hell wide, is it? I think we've just got to roll it first. I think we've just got to take it from one side and take it over. Instead of from the middle. Because I don't think we're going to be able to unfold it up there. Because it's not... Because the way we're going. Normally you take it over the ridge and the ridge... You fold it off the ridge. Oh dear. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to have to go so down that side there, make sure there's no nails or bits of wood or screws in. What way round is it again? It is, that is the way round. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> oh dear. It's going to be a nice man. I've got to find the edge. Aha. That is the edge. Right. 
I'm, I'm looking at it now, I think like we need like a couple of, couple of ropes over, like you would do when really you tilt in the boat, and drag it over that way and tie them to the corners. It's like, that's another fine mess you got me into. <laughs> I think I might, we might have to get a couple of a couple of ropes and throw them over, and then crunch the corners up. No, that, that has the wrong idea. It's just so it looks funny. Now we've just got to fold, pull it up right over from the middle, like this, and then we'll pull it out bit by bit. Hopefully, the wind don't pull the boat away. I'll just pass it to you. If you hold it there, you hold it, you got it? Hold it in the middle. Then I'll come round. And then I'll pull. That's it, then I'll pull a bit off. I have got some clamps. Hand grips just hold it in place while they we do another stuff. Let's do that, there you go. I know what these are hurt badly. There's that fold. Oh, God, it would have to be on the inside, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what, I might have to do. You might have to unfold as we go. Caroline, go and pull your end out as you go. Um, if we don't, we're going to have a because it's kind of going the wrong way, boys. That's it. That should be six and a half metres. That's 4.5. Not, okay, well, I'm not trying to put too far, I just want to... We're not actually... To there, Bobby. Oh dear. This when we get big wind, isn't it? Big wind. Sorry? I can do. I'm just going to clamp it as we go. I'll go and grab another clamp. Yes, mum. Then yeah. um, this one higher. Yeah, and then all on Try and get the steps in because I'm a bit short, aren't I? Dragon. You know we're creating a big height. <laughs> this is how you put people off the idea of growing their own food. <laughs> Could have done. That's, all. that's it. That's right. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Can't go any further. Clamps are quite a good idea. That was my idea. That was my way. <laughs> of course. If they're not, I claim them. Oh no, that clamp. That, that's it. You, you, no, you did it. You did it. Your fault. Really tried to get to the yeah, so we stop pulling that up. Oh, Pandora's having a poo in the field. How lovely. She's such a lady. Okay. I wonder what people are saying watching this. 
We are still alive, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Caroline, make sure you feed that way as well at the same time. Really conscious, so we don't drag it over anything that's metal. Done. Just okay. Not there. Whose idea was this? Have you got that bit? Not yes. Time, unhook it. Unclamp it. You got the clamp there, Caroline. You be up with the broom. Use a broom. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Pass the clamp and then use a broom instead of like risking yourself on those dodgy steps. Your little hand's not strong enough. Got the broom. Hello? No, I'm Even when I was bashing at the bum. I do apologise if I'm not engaging at the moment, but as you can see, we're in a little bit of a predicament. You've got more of that bit of metal there, Dan. You're saying yeah, but you're not actually paying any attention to what you're doing. There's bits of metal hanging down here. We don't want to hook up onto those, needs to say, yeah? The bolts we don't want to hook up onto. There's lots of things we don't want to do because obviously it'll cause damage. Where are we going now? Okay. Mind your step with those step ladders. <laughs> it's gonna fill up like 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 a big kite. Click it. Click it. I'll clip it. That might be a plan. I can't reach that. Fly high in the sky, but I can't. You can? Well, I can. All right. I think it. I, I think we'll start to have some sort of success unless we get a wind. Will you be careful, darling, with that ladder? Oh, no. It looks really wobbly. How's your balance? Don't go down the hole. No one put babe in the hole. Oh, ah, okay. oh, oh no, my flower. I've lost my flower. Oh, oh my joints, oh my joints. I think we've got to line it all up then, haven't we? Make sure you've got the right overhang everywhere. Oh, it's looking a bit more hopeful. I need to re got to release the crank and... Pair of steps. Oh. <laughs> so 
It's worth growing food, isn't it? Just, just so you have fun doing this. This is a very tall greenhouse. For a polytunnel. That does mean to say we can grow taller food. Careful I don't get the metal there. Release, release that clamp. I am. This is where I get stung by a bee. Or was that a butterfly? I can't remember now. Muhammad Ali. Let me hear that buzzing. It's surrounded by bees. They're on the uh, raspberry canes. Sorry? You broke it? Are you plonker? Rodney. And watch you try to fix it, it's even more painful. Do you want me to do it? Because it's. Uh, yeah, oh, you might have done it. No? Oh dear. She's breaking my tools now. Oh dear. Done it. Fixed it. Okay. Right. It's looking hopeful, providing we don't get any wind. <laughs> I just broke the clamp then. Yeah, back in. Right, there we go. Oh, looking hopeful. Right. That's a... Oh, a bit odd, isn't it? Oh, a bit odd. Ah, that's looking pretty, pretty good done. So, really all I need to think about doing is is lining the end up, making sure I've got enough material to clamp that end, and then whatever we have excess, we have excess. Yeah. Don't blow away. Thank you. No, yeah, probably. I've got, I've got the battens ready. I've got, to make sure, I've, got to, I've got to make sure it's over. I've got the right distance from end to end of the greenhouse first, before we get a bit crazy. Use a brush. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Right, how much dangling down have you got there? A little less of them. You've got, definitely got less at that end. You need to pull that end. Caroline, yeah. go to your left and pull the cover toward, no, that, that left into the corner and pull that down so it's the same as the other side. So it's the same as the other side. That's it. That looks a bit better. That's, You've got the ridge, you've got the head of the door coming across here and wherever else, however far it comes on either side. Yeah. Well, as long as it's, as long as it's the same on both sides. So what we need to do... 
Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then whatever comes the other side, it can be done. So if you if you pull that end, pull the end, yeah. not too hard, but pull the end down to the ground. So it's, we know, we've got enough to clamp it. That's it. And then we'll pull these two, I'll do the same here. No, don't run away. Oh, where are you going? I need mean, to make sure this is tight ish. You need a bit more towards you, you need more material at your end. I'll go by that line, I think. A bit more your that's it. I think that's probably about it. What do you reckon? Am I further in than you or no you have, you need a bit more? You need a bit more. You need more. That's it. That's it. So if I come in here and then I can bang down the hatches. So I'm gonna get a drill, get some and some screws and the battens and then wrap it around the battens and then screw it down there. That is the plan. Yeah, we'll that, and at least we'll be a little bit safer. What my wally? It's a weed, not weed. You give it. Wallies are not in a very. Uh, um, what the French marigolds? Yeah, we'll do, but not there. I'll move them. Um, so we need a drill. So what before we do, I'll see if you. That's not getting windy. She's worrying again. Uh, something that seriously, oh, no it doesn't, it's not true. That door swings both ways, remember? You have money coming into the UK, not just leaving it. That's silly. Maybe not so much now. More people want to leave. Uh, I, I looked for the moon last night, but it was cloudy here too, bagger. Yeah, we didn't see it either. Uh, no giant red moon here in the east. It was pouring down. Scroll back. Oh, quickly, wait. Oh, oh. The Yunk's old. Wally, yeah, he's down there now. Oh, she's, she's moaning again. There's my Wally. You got this fella in the shade? Uh, <laughs> it's hot. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Like, well, hold on to it, you mean? <laughs> Well, the wind's coming from, why is the wind coming from her? That way, so. All right, let it calm down a bit, then I'll just grab, grab some battens. Oh, I'm gonna get the battens. And the drill. Oh, 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 I can't ignore people. It's rude. <laughs> Apparently, she just told me I've got to ignore you for a few minutes. Oh, I'm just gonna grab my bits of wood. So I'm using a 40 by 27 millimetre rough batten as my clamping material because it's what I've got. Moaning at me. She's always moaning at me. I, I feel I'm so under the thumb. <laughs> it's quite hot work. I can't really help breathing. It's quite handy. I'll try not to breathe. No, I can't do it. Right. Oh, that was... Yeah. Oh, Caroline, yeah. your end there, can you put it to the ground more, in the corner? No, 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 not there, not there, on the other side of the wood. What other side? What other side? The other side of the piece of wood. What, here? No, here! This bit of wood. No, not there, the other side, oh, on the outside of it. Yes. I just, I just realised that corner and he's fixing. I'll do that once I put the wood on. What I want to do is to wrap that around this piece of wood, yeah? That bit of wood needs to be wrapped in the plastic. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, but we can't do it from here, can we? <gasps> Excuses. Right, I need to be wrapped it like that. I've got my screws and these are two inch. Two inch tens or eights? No, two inch eights. That's not. Hopefully it's enough to bite. At the moment, I don't really care at the moment. I just want to get some fixings in so it doesn't blow away. Right. So. Up. Right, that one's on there. In your end. Need to go right round on itself and back up again. 
So I'm, so I'm not just clamping one bit, I'm actually wrapping it around so it's like, it's like you have to, oops, there you go, down there so now I'll go around here and back around like that and in there, so I clamp it that way, yeah? It takes the wood as well at the same time, you see. I know I've got stone in the bit of wood, I don't want that. Let's put a hole in the cover. Right around here like so. Like I'm in the raspberries! I feel like a fairy. Uh, really fairy. Right, I'll put in there. I think it's working. Alright, so obviously there'll be more screws that will need to be we'll need to go in there. Right. A bit hard there because it's kind of like there's raspberries everywhere. Who put those raspberries there? Well you. Hey, that's working. I'm, I'm kneeling on things that are prickly. That's not pleasant. All right, there you go. Slide them? No, because then I've got to keep moving it. No, I don't, I, I'm not as old as you. Protection? Protection? Well, like condom. Look what, good, look what good that did us. Look what good that did us. Six kids later. All right. Sorry? You learnt your lesson. It's doing it, it's doing it. This when I, I do all this and I realise, oh crikey, we need to move it along now. Oh no, we don't. it's not tight enough, it'll be something. I don't know what I'm going to need, there's no bit of wood. I should have to have a direction. But yeah. yeah, and I'll worry about... Yeah, we need... The... Okay, Caroline, can you grab another piece of timber? Because I'm going to have to cut a bit off the end, because this hasn't gone all the way to the end yet. We need to... Feels like Ginger Island. Can't see me. Probably couldn't hear me either on St John's because the audio was rubbish. Um, there's all the internet, all my garden in there, isn't that great? I'm going to put the, move the router as well into a more um, suitable position, but still, it's a, it's not perfect. So, I've still got still work needs to be done there on the internet front for the garden. Oh, we'll get there. Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? No. Yes, please. And, and my hand saw. That, and it, that's on the floor. It's on the grass. My distant hand saw. The wooden handed one. The proper saw. Man saw. Right, so, that's good. More. It will need more fixings at some point. It's hard to know what to say actually while I'm doing this because I can't think straight. There we go, that's on there like so. I know you can't see me. But that's probably a relief actually, isn't it? I imagine so. There you go. Hey Dom. I've got a gopher. You're my gopher. Oh, okay, she's not. Damn, I need a gopher. If you wonder what I'm doing, oh, I'm sawing my leg off. There we go. That is one little bit man. And then we'll have to go around the other side and do the other side. And pull it as tight as we can as we do that. Yeah, pull the cover that is, as tight as we can, as we um, put the clamp, the bits of timber in this clamping the cover into place. Um, and then once it's, like I said, once it's warmed up, as in the cover's warmed up in situ, what'll happen is it'll stretch and wrinkles will come out and stuff like that, so the cover will actually go slack. So I need to leave it a little while for it to actually to do that, and then I can um, 
restretch the cover uh, by moving the poles of the greenhouse. It's effectively moving the actual frame of the greenhouse vertical. And by doing that, what I'll do is actually um, tighten the cover. It needs to be under tension. The problem with these cover, these uh, polytunnel plastic stuff, it gets fatigued. So it's um, as it vibrates and moves, or if it gets flaws and fatigues, and that's when it, that's when it gets damaged. Like so. I'm self-conscious of my breathing now. Got me to have a bit of wood. Thank you all. My dear wife, she's done a bit of gofing. I want to put a poll up later. What's, um, see what your feedback is regarding what video style I should be going for regarding all shorts, because I need to do something with the channel. Because it's, at the moment, as you know, it's suffering quite a lot. Uh, the problem with anything like that is you get a little bit demoralised with it and you don't put as much effort in as you should do and then it's a sort of a catch-22 situation. I don't need that, oh, also do, that's the one I just cut. <laughs> yeah, over there. Ooh. So now I'm over the other side of the greenhouse now. Can I hit you in my wood? I might have to get a drink. Oh, you can do that, okay. Oh god, what those of excess. We could have buried it in this side. Well, we've got the other stuff at the door. There's loads of excess. We could trench it. But that means digging up all the strawberries. I don't know if I'll do that yet. Okay. Please. Um, oh, it's just water, I suppose. Peloton. Uh, let's get going here, like so. Kicking screws over over here. So I'll start this end this time. Hmm. La 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 la. Right, so it's up there. That one's there. That's about middle. That's good. That is good though. I smell so much fennel. Really strong and a seed smell. Dee 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 dee. I might leave the excess on that great on that cover, then later on actually trench it. But for the time being, I'm just going to trap it with a with the baton. I can't believe you've got that over it, put the hole in it. Ah. Oh. oh, exciting. Probably not for you. <laughs> That's really hard to see from my head it's all there. Uh... Oh dear. Interesting getting it over, but we got, we got it over. So that's a, you know, that's a job done. Elsa or Spider-Man? Oh, I'm a Spider-Man. I'm going to have Elsa. Oh, Elsa. How come I've got kids' cups? You might break your glass. I might break your glass, okay, that's a fair point. A gem needs to wear Oh, off Jim needs swearing at. Oh, let's go out, scroll up a bit. He is a perfect elf. Where's he gone? Where's Wally gone now? Oh, he's gone in there. It's too hot for him. Too hot for me. Martin Lewis apologises for swearing at off Jim after saying that their new proposed 
cap every three months instead of six. Ah. Problem with the cap it, is the gas it was going up in price, wasn't it? And we've already lost how many? 30 odd energy supplies. That itself pushes up the price of the gas up on its own. Well, we need an alternative to gas. Yay, looks amazing. Cheers, Casper. Uh, anyone here afraid of living near power lines? Simon says 50 foot. Um, power, uh, depends how close you are. Oh, what be under? Do they buzz or something? <laughs> do you fly drones? No, I wouldn't want to be too close. We do have a power line, one there, but it's actually not live. It's, there's nothing goes through it because actually, I think what happened is they thought, oh, no, we've got to follow, we've got to replace the cables and follow the overheads. You see that overhead there? Can you see that? that there's an overhead there. That's, that literally stops at that post. Originally, there was a in the right down in the corner of the field into into the woods where there's a lake. There used to be a mill there, and I think they thought they need to replace that as well. And they stopped. It's either that or they had cable left over. That's an awful lot of cable to waste. So, oh my god! No, no, don't do oh, shit. Lucky one saw. <laughs> Is it me as the wind got up? I need it, but I couldn't do it, I mean, the ghost you went here. But we'll do it. No, 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 I'll damage it. Just leave it. Just hold up. The wind will go in a minute. Yeah, that goes in a second. Then we'll get, we'll get that batting in. <laughs> well, that could be interesting. Well, that was fun. Um, okay. You okay there? Yeah. All right. Um, it's still a bit ominous, isn't it? We need that wet breeze. Got a bit of a breeze. You probably can't see, but we've got a bit of a breeze. A bit of a breeze. Just waiting for the Febreze to go. I know, but I can't until it calms down. I was, uh, uh, right. Screws, screws. Farting. That needs to be in line with the end of the bit of wood, um. Good. No. The middle. I would do, but I dropped the screws. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's my French. <laughs> what have I done with them? Oh, you kid. Oh, there they are. I found them. <laughs> That's my French. Blimey. Right, we've got to tighten corner to corner. So you need to pull that way and I'm going to pull down. Tight, pull tight. Very tight, right? Yeah? Yeah, you can pull my end. Move that camera. Oh, that was close. So it's a wonky camera. Right, we, we need lots of greenhouse.
pull it. As tight as you can. Phew. So far, so good. And I've got to chop it off the end of this bit of bang. Oh, blimey, that's exciting. That was exciting. All right. <clears throat> Potatoes everywhere. Oh, Potatoes. Look, not going to be any potato family here. No potato family here, no. Right. Okay. Pesky bitch steal my potatoes. Right, there you go. Right, you need to cut that, don't I? Back at my saw. Very, very me. Do, 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 do. This is when you get bitten by ants, isn't it? They'll fall me. Yeah. Sorry? I was a bit biting you. Look what you said. You're allergic, aren't you? Right, so Tread, what are we going to do then? Okay. That's going to go on there like so. Right, you need to pull that as tight as you can. And I'm going to pull it down as well at the same time. Well, nothing at the moment until we make the ends up. We've got to make the ends up of the doors, haven't we? And then we become part of the structure of the greenhouse. Now, it still has to be 100% tight at the moment. It just has to be tight enough to hold it in place. And then, uh, like I said, once it's uh, been in situ for a bit, We can then raise the poles, which will affect tighten the cover. <laughs> if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm actually just screwing pieces of wood to another piece of wood with a plastic polytunnel piece. Um, it's like a UV. Plastic for uh, it's probably about ten years life or something, stupid. Um, which I believe because the other one's quite old. What knife? What sort of knife? Kitchen knife. Oh, it's like a straight edge one. That's one of the old steak knives. Remember them? I've got wings. No, I can make it a handle. Oh, sorry, hitting the microphone. God, this aniseed little oh, fennel. God, oh, smells so good, even though I crushed it. Such aniseed balls. Quite 
few screws have to go in because you've got to have the, enough clamping pressure along the actual piece of wood. Otherwise, it'll be just, well, it'll be loose. It just won't do. It won't work. Oh, that's got to pull down there. Okay. I do apologise for all the, the strained noises. It's quite hard not to have a strained noise when you do a sudden strenuous. I'm quite positive about this greenhouse, I think. It's going to last a reasonable time. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a big glass greenhouse, but those things are expensive. And also, um, not actually that practical. That was, wasn't it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, the old greenhouse that we had, we had that for uh, what, 12, no, 10 years, I think that is. Nine, 10 years, the old one. And that was made of wood. And um, we did it on the cheap. But a year, the greenhouse had a year before that we actually was just water pipe that we bent around into hoops. But it was always, oh, that was floppy, <laughs> really floppy. <laughs> that wind, that used to sway in the wind. Someone told it was a good idea, but that was a rubbish idea. Listen. Right, that's clamped on there, I think. I need more screws around the other side, don't we? And tightening up. Right. That's going to be grass there. That'll be grass there later. There. We just need to put whack a little more screws in the bottom here on this side. Blimey. We almost have a greenhouse. And maybe we'll be able to put my tomato plants in. Nearly there. Not we really there yet. It's quite important that I get these ends made reasonably quickly. Oh, I see a cricket. And um, otherwise, it's going to be at risk of wind damage, which won't be very helpful. Screws in all about 
eight inches apart. Would be nice if more people grew more food though. Because like I said earlier, but, um, we can bark with it for a start, but also you can help other people. You know, cause you're always going to, yeah, doing the glut, you know, when you have everything all coming at once, you always give it away. You know, let someone else benefit from your efforts as well. You'll be pretty damn cool. Right. Well, the cover is over the top and it's clamped down into place. So that's a good sign, isn't it? And it's looking quite hopeful. Oops. Blimey. Oh, it's so hot! Ah, that's a bit like Green's voyeurism, isn't it? You know? I'm out of breath, it's so hot in there. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yes, Casper. Anyone here afraid of well? Al Smith, cool rumple still skin. Uh, nitric acid is quite dangerous. What? 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 Oh, are you talking about Margaret Thatcher? Are we talking? Oh, uh, Alf, are you, are you talking about etching? Is it what? Do a bit more etching. Alf, I think Alf was talking about uh, last night about etching the Margaret Thatcher, the statue of the Milk Snatcher. Snatcher, Snatcher. Snatcher, Statue? Oh, oh, I can sit back now and watch her work. The Snatcher, oh dear, she's an awful woman, wasn't she? But there again, saying that. The idea of uh, her or Boris Johnson. You know, I'd rather have her. She's a lesser two evils. I think she had, a, you know, I would say her heart's not right, but I say she, she believed in what she believed in. Boris Johnson believed in anything, apart from himself. Look what happened there. Had a glitch. I'm so tired, she must be obeyed. And the eldest daughter planted six by eight cherry blossoms and fruit. Uh, six by eight cherry blossoms and fruit. Oh, six eight foot, sorry, six eight foot cherry blossoms. Uh, and fruit trees at our cottage in the west of Ireland. I tell you, at this time of year, digging, flipping holes for trees. <laughs> We've lost count of how many holes we've dug over the last three weeks, or the last couple of months. Loads of flipping holes. Holes are everywhere. In fact, we, well, he's moving there. We've got a fruit tree that's gone in there. Over there. And on the bottom, we've got about fruit trees now, plus like our existing ones that are in the front garden. Um, they're great for the bees, though. The bees love them. So we have a piece of land just at the bottom part, as you can see where the wheelbarrow is. Um, I don't go down there because I'll, I'll lose the connection. But um, there's a whole load of uh, fruit trees. There's like two rows of fruit trees gone in there. I think we bought 12, 12, I think about 12, about 12 fruit trees. Plus we've the through about it as well. Plus over in the front garden, you can't really see it from here, but there is, um, Trees on the right hand side up there, they're all apple trees, and we've got a plum and a cherry tree up there as well. And another apple, one, two, three. yeah, anyway, there's loads. We've got 22 in total, I think. Three trees don't fall, fall into those holes. What are the holes that my dog keep digging? Uh, yeah, in that field, he goes in that field and she keeps digging, especially where the molehills are, and creates big craters. Yeah, little bugger. And this we do fall in them, we bring our blinking angles. <coughs> Copper etching fluid is available at craft shops. Oh, I didn't know that. It would be so funny if someone etched that. Etch a camel toe on or something. 
Oh, the fat snatcher sounds straight does, doesn't it? The fat snatcher. Oh, yeah, that would be a bit wrong. Yeah, but she's... Oh, she was foul. What on earth are they thinking? Who on earth came up with that idea? Was Jake Reese Mogg or something like that, probably? Because wasn't it, wasn't it originally going to be going uh, Westminster somewhere and they decided to put her birthplace instead? Because they didn't want vandalism, probably. It's 300 odd grand. The cost of living as it is, and people can't, you know, they can't afford to buy food. They're spending 300 grand on a flipping um, statue. Would you spend 300 grand on a statue, my darling? No. You don't want to. Can, I, can, I, can I make a statue of you? No. Uh, can I use artistic license? No. A lot better than 300 yeah, like feeding people might be a start. Uh, that's a, a, oh, okay. So it was rejected at Westminster because it was a threat of being damaged. <laughs> no people have been pelting eggs at it. <laughs> nice patina on the head, yeah. It's a bit of patina. Dig her up. A bit of patina there, wouldn't there? A bit of patina. So what's been going on? Yeah, oh, we've got Graham, who's, he's trying to message me at the moment. Oh, he's got the threaded bolts. Well, he says he's got coach bolts, which is not exactly what I meant. No, not threaded bolts. Uh, you get, like, threaded rods, you know, one metre lengths, so you put nuts and bolts on them. So, um, he's asking for advice still. I will give him some advice in a moment, as Graham, for old Graham Hughes. Think about when you when you do start, you've got to start right with something like a tree. I built one for my, my kids, and the thing about it is, is when you clamp, you've got to clamp like two main bearers to the tree, ideally, and the tree will grow into them, kind of grow over them eventually. But you firstly cl clamp it with long threaded ro rods, and then you can build off the base of it. It might not be hundred percent secure at that point, but um, as you build off it, you'll create security and, and it'll become a part of the tree. Because what happens, the bark will build will grow up around the bottom edge of the main bearers and because what happens is you create a ledge for the actual uh, bearers to sit on in time obviously not straight away another thing is obviously using timber that is um worthy of the job because obviously it's very exposed he doesn't like his heat does he our poor dog um sebastian has been struggling this heat because he's got a lung lung problem Yeah, he's too hot. We could put him in the spa. Cool him down in the spa. Yeah, then we have a heat in the spa, and then we can't breathe. Well, you go, innit? <laughs> you don't malt like beer. <laughs> Bear's our dog. Oh, white right, Sebastian. Sebastian Bear. Huh? He's like a big polar bear. He's white. With spears, yeah, because he's half Dalmatian, half Labrador. So, uh. Putin seriously ill, apparently. Slovakia doesn't want to share his food. I understand, though. I do. I, I get it. Hungary is um, kicking off because, uh, well, they're kind of holding the EU to ransom over the sanctions. It's a bit surprising, considering it's Victor Oban. He's a oh, he's a son of a bitch, isn't he? Well, Hungary has been accused of holding the EU hostage over its refusal to agree. Uh, an oil embargo against Russia as the bloc struggles to reach consensus as its latest sanctions aimed at eroding the Kremlin's ability to wage war. The Lithuanian Foreign Minister, Gabriel Salambergis, uh, said, unfortunately, unfortunately, sorry, the whole union is being held hostage by one member state. And he was referring to Hungary which uh, continues to block the oil embargo despite being offered an extension on phasing out Russian crude oil until the end of 2024. Now, everybody expected this will be enough, and Landsberg and Burgess told reporters reflecting the widespread view that Budapest would fall into line if it got more time to convert its energy system to accommodate non-Russian oil. The EU's top diplomat, Joseph Borrell, said that this, uh, there were no guarantees the issue could be resolved at a meeting of the EU foreign ministers on Monday. Today, uh, We will do our best to unblock the situation, he said. Uh, I can't ensure this is going to, hap uh, to happen because the positions are quite strong. 
and, and Finland's uh, junior foreign minister who said she would update her counterparts on Helsinki bid to join NATO um, said on the oil ban. It's very uh, important to do our utmost so that we can make strong statement as an EU. Um, the EU has been unable to agree to its uh, sixth package of sanctions against Russia, which includes uh, asset freezes and travel bans on prominent Vladimir Putin supporters. Now, 12 days after the uh, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen outlined plans for a Russian oil embargo to come into force by the end of 2022. Now, since the proposals, EU officials have made a series of concessions a plan to ban EU ships from uh, transporting Russian oil was dropped after opposition from Greece and Cyprus, which worried their industries would lose out to competitors. Meanwhile, landlocked countries that are heavily dependent on Russian oil were offered a delay in joining the EU embargo. Hungary, Hungary Slovakia were um, given until the end of 2024, while the Czech Republic has been offered a um, June 2024 deadline, while Slovakia and the Czech Republic appear ready to sign off sanctions. Budapest continues to hold out on the oil embargo, uh, which the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has likened to an atomic bomb hitting his country's economy. So I can see his point of view, because obviously it would, especially if that dependent upon Russian oil. So it's not likely to happen, is it? No. I can't see it happening. I really can't. They would find a way. There's always rust removing paste for cars from Halfords. It's basically acid, isn't it? Rush removing paste, it's like sulfuric acid. Now, here in France, believe it or not, you can go to the supermarket and buy acid. Literally. You can buy battery acid from the, from the supermarket, such as in the Marche or, you know, or any of the Bricos, as in the DIY places. Uh, sulfuric acid. Yeah. It's used as cleaning, you see, or drain cleaning and stuff. So what am I building, says Al? Well, I'm building a greenhouse, as you can see. The actual original frame was an old... Um, machine mark, you know, a Clark machine mark garage that we had in the front garden that was given to us and um, it was rubbish so, uh, well, well, the wind attacked it and destroyed the cover so but the frame was okay, it's, it's not that old. So I thought, hang on, I'll make a good greenhouse because we need to replace the greenhouse that we had here. Um, so that's what we've done, we've, we've got to make the ends up. At the moment, I'm not that worried about doors because we'll be heading towards the summer months and it'll be too hot to have the doors closed anyway, or that'd be quite good for the night times. Um, and also winds. It's good to obviously get the doors closed for the winds. But at the moment, we're not that worried about that at the moment. Uh, I'm more worried about disappearing in the wind. <laughs> so I do need to do the ends. So they need to, that creates part of the structure, you see, because at the moment, I do, I've put in extra pieces into the A-frames of the roof to stiffen the roof up. But I have it on the ends here because that'll be done by adding the structure for the, um, which would be timber work, basically. It'll be like stud work um, on the ends there which that be stretched around and clamped, you know, basically first staple, then little batten screwed down around the door frames, so that'll all be held into place. So although it's smaller, two metres shorter, but it is actually, I think there's potentially more growing space. It's not any wider, so it's not that, but just having that extra headroom, it's going to allow us to actually allow us to grow those tomatoes higher. Instead of pinching them out, sir, because the eaves here, it's crikey, they're, they're, they're low, but 1.8, 1.9 high, or is it two metres? No, that's two metres, then, isn't it? Yeah, so it's, even at the eaves, it's very, very tall. So it's probably, what, three metres in the middle, maybe? So it gives us a lot more growing space for the actual um, area uh, than the ground space being taken up. So um, I, think it's, it's, I think it'll be a winner, hopefully. As long as it lasts and the wind up, I'll be happy. So yeah, Simon says, we used to use, uh, uh, we used to buy Aquafort for cleaning tiles in Spain, and I think it's it's alkaline though. Oh, I see. But you, here you can buy. Uh, uh, imagine in Spain if it's well, buy in the supermarkets. That's what just get me. You, you know, you can go around the supermarkets and just I don't know, take the tops off and throw it at people. It'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Going the faces off. 
not a great idea. No. Helpers uh, and jobs living lives. Boris said would raise minimum wage. Looks like only Boris is getting paid more. Well, it's like all the MPs, they got their 3% pay rise, didn't they? Uh, Andrew Bailey uh, from the Bank of England, he decided he wasn't going to take it. He, yeah, he declined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to wander up here. I don't know what I'm first going to do. I'm going to dunk my head in some water, which happens to be over there. And I've actually put a bottle of drink and a cup because I'm dying of thirst. So here's my uh, Elsa cup. Elsa cup. And then I'm going to grab my bottle. Uh, it should be floating in the spring fed over here. So I've got a spring fed. Um, it's an animal drinker, but there's no animals. So we use the water garden. It used to be animals. We used to have sheep and, and goats, chickens and ducks. And it became, well, one thing, it, it became, well, it became costly. Everything has to be registered. And then you have to pay taxes on it. If, you, if you've got over seven sheep, which we did, you have to pay um, tax on them. And that's getting, that's getting ridiculously expensive. And then you had to do all the um, worming and all the other stuff. Uh, and then you get like salt blocks, mineral blocks for the winter, because they don't get enough out of the hay. So you have to give them that little bit extra. Otherwise they... So I'm gonna move close to the hay. So I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't know if it makes any difference. So what, I'm going to go in the shade over here. Oh, oh it's a lizard. Oh, you missed the lizard. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, we've got birds in the, in the roof of my shelter. Well, behind that bit of wood at the moment, there's a lizard. On the sign. Little wall, that'll be big, the little wall lizards. So about five inches, 125 millimetres long. I can see you. I can see him. He's just there. There he is. You see that? <laughs> now he's behind the, the saw, the felling saw. There he is. Let's see that. There he is. That's him. They're really interesting creatures because um, one thing is when they uh, move that out of the way, if they get attacked by a cat, for instance, what happens is they they can almost like they can release their tail. It's like it breaks off. The tail breaks off, and um, it's been a bit lower. I've got to look down on. Won't be the first time. Yeah, they, the tail. Um, breaks away and they grow new when they get a little, like, little tail stump. <laughs> so they're pretty cool creatures. All sorts of stuff all over in my way here. Bits of old metal and that we've been cutting bits of metal out of greenhouse. Little stiffeners and stuff and the things to hold it down to the ground. So where's my other phone? I do apologise. It's a bit of a random one today, isn't it? There it is. Sounds like reef smog. Tall falls. Tail falls off as, <laughs> as he escapes. Yeah, probably. Bit of luck. <laughs> what have we done with my cup? Well, there we go. Oh, I'll do your cup. Oh, there it is. That's my Elsa cup. Oh, it? that's got water in there already. Oh, it's a big spider. That damn cider. And a curds and whey. Why are you digressing? I'm always digressing. <laughs> and a bird nest, a rat fest. It sounds like Reese Morgan. His tail falls off as he escapes. But that, get, that lizard was there from the get go. Fetch me a coat. Listen. Yeah, we have birds as well. 
Got plenty of birds. You saw my little video of that um, TIE fighter uh, bird box, and it's a amount of times in and out, in and out. And usually when it starts cooling down a bit, you just get, it's almost like they're playing tag. So you get the green, the great tit goes in there and feeds the little young, with a little worm in his mouth, so it gets in it. And all of a sudden, as they go in, another one comes out. It's just constant, that. It's like the tagging. Oh, and then they've got a carp to be over there. It's a big black bee. They have like an iridescent blueness to their, um, to their bodies. And in the United States, they, they treat them like a pest. Um, I don't think a pest, but they, but they do tend to bore holes in the siding. You know what Americans like, they like their siding in the houses. Uh, Are oh, you talking about Boris Johnson? He's going to be there for ages. I won't be surprised. He ain't got no solutions. And, and like I was saying last night, and also that clip that I put on there, he was saying it's, it's fantastic. The best of both worlds. Everyone should be happy. And he's lying, basically, about the um, there's going to be no checks coming in to, uh, to and fro from the UK. And there was from Northern Ireland to the UK. I'm not new in the UK to to Britain. Blimey, it's such a hot day. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. I feel like you're up there in the air. And then, uh, don't, yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this for like four hours again. Because that was silly. So I need a big um, hourglass. Can't see a thing though. There you go. Ha ha, Jim and I. So hot. Oh, he's in the ah, uh, he's in the meeting. He's in the meeting with all the assembly parties. So he's in there with um, the don't understand politics party. Can't remember where I heard that first, but I heard that somewhere. I think I read that actually. Probably Charlie Hebdo or something. <laughs> Man, not good. Margus the political, DIY and nature vlogger. <laughs> yeah, but I suppose it's a bit like that. Talking about nature. I don't know this. This, is, this is my... It's a mess in a minute, but as you can see. But obviously when the tractor was not in the way, and there was rubbish everywhere, it's quite nice. You know. What am I going to find? What have you found? Ray Straw, yet draw you asked me the picture today. And it oh. what it is. I know what it looks like. <laughs> but she's five. <laughs> my granddaughter is, is drawing things. That I'm trying to work out in my head what it's supposed to be. But she's drawn the penis. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That, it's a little phallic, wouldn't you say? If you can see it without the, the light shining on it. Lisa said she's drawn one. Oh, it was a pair of... Oh, okay, it was disappeared no, then. No, she doesn't there know, but I'll press the button again. She's I'm allergic to that tablet. tablet. Doesn't like me. Um, I need to post three letters again. You do? Yeah. Is that a hint? No, no, it's a hint. That's a hint? Sounds like a hint to me. I wasn't going to be going anywhere, but there you go. Apparently we are. Oh, look at the fuel. Oh, he's, he's meeting with the DUP now, is it? Oh, God's sake. That ain't going to go bad, is it? <laughs> they need more sheep. Yeah, there's loads of these little lizards here. Absolutely loads of them. They run up all down the walls. Um, Starting seeing the bats now, which is quite cool. I'm quite happy about that. Um, we come up with all these ideas, a way to have the face Margaret Thatcher with acid. <laughs> it's also symbolic. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Do it me. They have to do that, they are sheeple. Oh, they, they have to do that so sheeple understand them. It's just phenomenal. It's, I just can't. 
the, the level of madness that's going on at the moment, and it's it, it's so ridiculous. It's just I just can't I can't get my head around it. How stupid people are believing all this. So Slovakia doesn't want to give us their food. Uh, what else have we got going on there? What else have we got going on in the world? The Russia-Ukraine war is going to uh, have a severe economic effect on the world. We already know that. I've, I've talked about those. There's actually something else. I was, um, I, I've been bugging me a little bit, actually, because obviously we keep going on about interest rates and stuff and, and also inflation. Even though they keep putting the interest rate up a little bit, another percent here, another percent there, or half percent, quarter percent, there's a percent everywhere. And um, in theory, well, in my head, it's telling me that the actual interest rate is going down, even though they're putting it up, because inflation's going up. In real terms, that is. It's like they're saying inflation now is over 9%. Well, in real terms, it's probably, it could be double that. It's how it, how, how it affects people's lives. And how, what, what is your disposable income as well, and also what you are able to buy as a country, as, as, a, popu as a populace. That all affects what, that, what the value of the money is. Because at the end of the day, you can't buy as much with it because you've got less yourself, not just because it's more expensive. It's double whammy, isn't it? But I read that now. I read that. I was, I've been thinking about it for ages, and I don't quite work. Can't quite work this out. And um, then something I read confirmed it in my head, and now I forgot what it was. So, so I find it. It's quite complicated. It was literally because the inflation's going up, and it's to do with people's disposable income and the cost of living crisis and what have you. And it kind of pushes. Um, interest rates even lower, so in theory, it, it costs less to borrow, even though they've put the interest rates up. It, and it, sense, it doesn't make sense, but it, it does. It does make sense. It's just a bit bizarre way of looking at it. Oh no, I don't want Boris Johnson. So what's been going on? God, it's so hot. I feel like jumping in the spa and cool down. But I'd have a shower first. I'm all sweaty and sticky and smelly. So Putin's probably got blood cancer and something wrong with his thyroid. He's got uh, probably because of blood cancer. If it is the fact, if it is true. Or is he just trying to get sympathy vote? Because he, he can't get out of the situation that he's in. He's looking for a way out. Oh, they all feel sorry for me. I kind of how their minds work. I won't be surprised. Um, so they're still whinging about the um, the fact they can't drive in Spain, Brits. Uh, if it, unless you've got obviously a, a, a Spanish driving license. Let's put this nation. So I can't exchange mine. They're not allowing us to exchange our, our driving licenses at the moment. Um, they're saying because there's so, such a backlog, they're saying there's no need, so they're just getting returned. Oh, um, Alderag says if, if if I had an option, I bought this one because it's actually they're quite good. They peak though, it's only thing. They're, they're a little bit sensitive on the highs, and my voice it doesn't help. Um, as a recording, Mike, I would definitely go for the road. If you talk about the road um, walkabout one, like the road version of this. Yeah. But if you're talking about um, what I'm doing at the moment, or um, most YouTube type of stuff, is absolutely fine, I think. The fact of the matter is, you can get it close to the gob. That allows you to talk a little bit less mad. 
Um, if you are referring to either this, this microphone or my little Rode Micro, which is the little directional microphone that I sometimes have on top of my devices, um, the, little, the Rode Micro is great providing you're close enough. They're a great microphone anyway, you know. Um, and they're about 50 euros, so about 40, 45, around 40, 45 pounds for the little Rode Micro. Good little microphone, really well built. Um, the, these, they do these in a, t actually they've got a new version out now actually, but this model they do in a um, a two microphone and a one single microphone. I've only got a single one because it's only me, um, set up. And it does work pretty well. The only thing i found is the battery in this one, this device, doesn't last as long by a long shot than the actual receiver. Because you've got two parts you see. You have this part here, if I can show you. This is your receiver, your cable plugged in. And that... Um, receives a signal from the microphone. So that way it allows me to talk while I'm wandering around the workshop and stuff like that, so you still hear my beautiful voice. <laughs> According to the BBC interview with logistical manager in Northern Ireland, when Brexit happens, the cost of living will increase 20 to 35% over two years. I'm not a bit surprised. Derek, not at all. Over the next two years, uh, sad to say, sad to say, but it's getting, that is, everything is, is increasing. And like Gadden Possum said, um, well, he warned us, right, you know, all along he'd been warning us, and recently, within the last couple of weeks, he said that um, he believes that 8% of inflation can be put down to Brexit, pretty much. And also, it's going to be more pro, I've been saying that as well, but more um, prolonged suffering from the inflation uh, than any other country because of Brexit. That's what the one thing all these other countries don't have is Brexit. So when people say, what, what is the legacy for this Boris Johnson govern government? Oh, it's suffering, that's what it's going to be. People are starving. Yeah, what a legacy, eh? Hey? The sinkhole, yeah, they're quite a nice microphone. They're, they're quite good. They're very, very light. Um, and also, uh, Gerard, you can plug in a additional microphone into it. So you just use it as the, yeah, the sender. So I could plug the Rode micro, uh, Rode micro or any of my microphones directly into this just to send the signal to to the phone. So um, it gives you other options. So if you want to use um, a lapel microphone or something like that, um, you could use that. Now I don't like any, I don't like being attached to anything because I'm all I just I just get caught up with cables. So that's why I got it. I thought if I'm going to do this with the um, workshop wandering around in there doing stuff um i need to have a radio mic of some description and obviously a digital one is far better than anything that's analog regarding radio signals because obviously you get interference from your lights and all sorts of stuff uh patrick <laughs> Just right. there are there are other microphones as well that you can get they're quite reasonably priced um Mookie do one, uh, Movo, Movo's a very good little microphone, they do a really good little um, directional microphone, ideal for use on a phone or something like that. Um, but some of them you've got to be really careful of, is Boya does a whole load of microphones and some of them are really good little microphones, the little lapel mic they do is actually really good with the little boost, it's got a ridiculously long 10 metre cable on it, which is, yeah, you know, it's bird's nest of wire, um, but it pretty good sound quality considering it's only like a 20 quid lapel microphone um, they also do what you'll be careful though with these modern phones if you're using phones for recording your video in a lot of these modern phones now they don't have the you see that plug there that one I mentioned this before but they don't have the headphone socket the TRRS socket and because of that you can't because that's gone you've got to get an adapter that, that plugs into this now that's all very well but no two adapters are the same, and no two phones are the same. There's not sta they're not standardised yet, and they don't appear to be that they're going to be. And because of that, you might have one adapter, and you think it's going to work on your phone, and it won't work on another phone. So I had to um, do my research and find one, because I was struggling. With the adapter that was suggested to me, that was recommended by the phone manufacturer, OnePlus, it was rubbish. And it was a OnePlus adapter. It just didn't work. It's gurgly, it sounds like it's like under, underwater. 
Um, but this new one, this is one by Ugreen, who makes a lot of cables and that as well, and it's got a 24-bit chip inside it because it's got a DAC, which is a digital audio uh, converter. Because um, what it's trying to do is trying to convert the audio signal from your microphone into a digital signal for the phone to be able to recognise. Um, because it doesn't have, because the phones no longer have an onboard DAC. I get a bit techy, a little bit techy. Do apologise. <laughs> my last phone came with half a dozen adapters. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's just uh... the other crazy thing is, although I got this adapter, if I want to use the video camera. The one that, you know, the standard one on the phone itself, it won't recognise the, um, the microphone as, through the adapter. So I tend to use um, either Open Camera or Filmic Pro, or um, at the moment, obviously, I'm using the YouTube streaming app, which works seems to work fine, it recognises it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very frustrating and very annoying. I just wish they left it alone. We miss War Nostalgia Memories. Small Brain Box Cross. You missed that, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, uh, Rode is definitely a better microphone. But these, as a two set, it's about 90 euros for the set. And it is really quite a good little microphone. If you wonder what that bit is, I, I do that. So I, 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 I put like a little plastic rubber bung on there. So when I'm holding them, I, I, I know where the power button is. So I don't end up pressing all the wrong button buttons. Because if you're in a dark or you, you know, you've just got in your hand. Let's have a faff. How do I feel? Hello from Reunion. Oh, French territory. Little island. The little island that they keep using as, well, the UK keeps using for like the winter payment and stuff like that. To bring it down so they haven't got to pay out. Well, £45 pounds plus postage packing equals £100. Pounds. Really? Oh, are you kidding me? I take it it's because of Brexit. Yeah, um, we've only been caught out once so far with that, regarding somebody sending us up. And that was Sun Sentence, I've shown you already, I've mentioned it before. The Sun Sentence is a little poster, um, which costs something like 15, it's a print, it's like 15 quid from Norfolk, Norfolk print. And um, the, the actual the lady at the, on the, at the gate, the post lady, um, in fact, she's basically she wanted 13 euros before we could take it. It's all admin, most of it's admin. So it's very frustrating. But all this stuff's hitting business. You see, now, I've got my little Etsy shop and stuff, and I've been selling things on there, but I don't sell to the UK anymore. No. So, my little wooden phone holders and stuff like that, you know, my Star Wars stuff, you know, I don't, you know, I don't sell it anymore. Not to the UK, but to France, obviously, and Germany, and, you know, 27 other member states. In fact, other countries as well, just not the UK. <laughs> it's easier to send it to the United States. It takes a bit longer, but it's easier than it is to send it to the UK now. It's madness. It doesn't make any sense. But we know why, don't we? I know why. Because a whole load of numpties, they put that cross in the wrong box. That's what they did. What a bunch of bonkers. Oh, he's got the Rode NT2. Oh, it's a nice microphone in the price range. Uh, are the smaller ones still available in Australia? I quite like the, um, oh, the Shure microphone. That's a really good little microphone. It's about 400 million euros there. Uh, Teresa May done the, the Planet Apes dance. What? <laughs> you talking Teresa May? I think she, she did a lot of dance in the wheat field, apparently. Oops, got it. Now, Apple don't want things like adapters standardised. They would have to reduce their prices. Good point. Yeah, I, I don't touch anything, Apple. Well, well, if you had been working at Fukushima and Shinuki branch, it would have gone pop. Had you digressed at the right moment? <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, my 
Live Bank says, the best microphone is on my uh, Zomi uh, basic earbuds. Very sensitive. The problem with having a lot of uh, microphones, such, see this one here, this is fine because it's close. So it's picking up my sound before anything else. And it's like an omnidirectional. So basically it's picking up sound in all directions. Now, that's all very well if it's close and I'm the prominent sound. But if, for instance, I are uh, walking about, for instance, and um, I didn't have this, and I had an omnidirectional microphone, and it's too far away from me, like, for instance, using the microphone on the actual camera itself that isn't directional, what potentially is going to happen is I've got to pick up a lot of other sounds, and effectively your sound of your voice then becomes drowned out by all the other sounds. So, um, and wind noise and stuff like that. That's where all the problems come in. So, to deal with wind noise, you'd use a thing called like, a wind muff. And the wind muff would literally um, sort of like soften the wind before it gets anywhere near the little transducer, before the, yeah, the little capsule in the microphone. Um, and even this little microphone here, I probably have, uh, there's a wind muff that goes on top of that, clips on either side, there's two little holes there, and it clips in there. And uh, it's not a bug, it's a bug. So, um, yeah, it, it works well, and it's the problem the way I see it is, is that when they try and digitize everything, you've they've got processed sound which can be can sound heavily compressed. So, you've got to have a, a good quality adapter. And, and I, I managed to find this one, that it okay, it's more expensive, but it, it, it works, it appears to work. So, I'm quite happy with it. It's allowing me to use this phone, which I wouldn't have had to use otherwise. Sinn Féin, oh no. Sinn Féin just gave a press conference, no straight answers from Boris and Tories. No, of course it isn't. isn't it? No. Like um, Michelle was saying, what Michelle O'Connor, whatever her name is, and she was saying, uh, uh, the DUP are in cahoots with Boris. Alexander Boris to Pepper Johnson. Yes, it's warm, it's hot, it's sticky, Patrick. Yes, very, 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 very hot. Uh, Need as near as possible 20 hertz to 20 hertz, uh, kilohertz sensitivity for any audio. Well, that is literally our, the range of our hearing there. Um, who is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz? It's like, for instance, I want to get an amplifier for my little electric drum kit. And um, you can't use any old amplifier for it. You can't use that guitar amp or anything like that because it doesn't pick up the right frequency range. Um, it picks up too many high, high, you know, it doesn't. The high notes are too, it sounds ridiculous, it doesn't sound like a drum, it sounds ridiculous. So you need the right, you need a, a, a drum, uh, you know, a amplifier designed for a drum, yeah, a drum kit. Yeah, extremely, extremely warm. I'm getting brown quite quickly, I think, or burnt. Uh, there used to be cheap phantom power analog interface for phones, but they need a mini jack socket. You can't uh, go wrong with Rode. Yeah, it, but Rode are very good, I must say. I do have Rode microphones as well, so. My last phone came with a dozen adapters. Yeah, the BBC lied about Brexit again and again and again, Mellow Mellow. Um, not just BBC, loads of the um, media outlets are lying. They're just they're lying or just omitting the detail. In fact, I suppose it's lying in some ways. When you're not being honest with, with your reporting if you're not giving all the obvious stuff that is, quite frankly, true. You know, the Channel 4 News has been doing it, The Guardian's been doing it. Very frustrating, you know, and when it's blatantly obvious that it's um, part of the problem, major part of the problem, is Brexit. And like Derek was saying, it's getting worse and worse and worse. We're getting in the position where we're not going to be able to do anything in the sense of, um, well, enjoying our lives with a little bit of disposable income that you might have. We're just talking about existence. It's not exactly the same as living, is it? It's not. We won't be able to, you know, people in general, the human race, your families, what have you, won't be able to take your children places. I think it's going to be a case of there, well, maybe we, we have to earn the right. 
whether it be environmentally in the sense that we need to do stuff on carbon, carbon, um, yeah, to, to combat our our carbon, uh, yeah, usage and what have you. Um, and then we say, okay, then we go for a trip to the beach in the car, maybe. But the idea of getting on an aeroplane, even though I do it, I do feel guilty. <laughs> I don't do. I suppose it should be an empty seat. Uh, Derek says we had rain overnight, warm and sunny now, although the DUP couldn't lie straight in bed. Nope, they can't. They need to be, ain't be negative. It's in their DNA. Uh, yeah, if, it's just argumentative all the time, aren't they? Is audio allowed from the Sinn Féin these days? It looked dubbed to me. Maybe they've got the sync off. Maybe it's not been synchronised, just like, you know. Maybe. Uh, doesn't make you wonder. Most are owned by the Tories. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to call it here for now, because it's two hours, and I tend to um, waffle on, and I'm waffling on at the moment. So the only ones to digress away a bit are Channel 4, and Guardian, Independent, it's sister paper, it's sister paper. Uh, and the Mirror, yeah. But still, it's a lot, of what's a lot of what's going on in the UK, which isn't going on elsewhere in the world, you can pretty much put down to Brexit. You know, they're, they're saying that um, they reckon within 25 years we're going to run out of water in the UK. And it's, um, well, maybe everywhere else as well. But a lot of that is down to a lack of um, investment in the infrastructure. But also the fact is we're going to have less rain, as in this humidity. Humidity. Warm and sunny now. Poor, not, oh, Northern Ireland weather in about two hours. What gets me about the DUP is they are saying that Northern Ireland is suffering from the Northern Ireland Protocol, but they are the only ones in the UK that that's doing well. Yes, because they've got access to the EU. It's, it's getting ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's a stupid statement, isn't it, really? Yeah, I'm going to go, uh, Coca-Cola will still be available, okay, maybe. <laughs> we wouldn't use like desalination and stuff like that instead. If there's not enough fresh water from, from the rain and at the mountains and stuff like that, it'd be, I suppose we have to turn to more desalination. It'd be giant like, greenhouses desalinating all the salty water. Anyway, I'm digressing again. So I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I know it's a bit of a strange one, doing a greenhouse cover. Um, while talking about other stuff as well, but it was a, we nearly lost it though. The wind got it. Went, yeah, like it, that was like a, a kite. That was a bit of a panic, panic stations for a bit. But hey, -o, it's it's there. And I think it'll be alright for a couple of days while I get the ends sorted out. So I so, say thank you very much and ta ta. <laughs>